So the M4 Mac Mini, the exact device I've got right there, has been a very popular one. And especially since it was released, I think it surprised a lot of people, especially for what it brought to the table, being so small, powerful. And if you went for the base model, very good value for money, which is not something I thought I'd be talking about Apple in 2025. But it misses one crucial thing that everyone well, almost everyone uses, and that is an SD card slot. Now, Apple put an SD card slot in the Mac Studio, but not in the Mac Mini. Now, you could argue that, A, the Mac Mini is so small that it won't facilitate one in there, which I think they could have found space to put an SD card slot in there. And two, you could argue that the Mac Studio is made for professionals, and that's why it has an SD card slot in there. But I'd say it's 2025. More people than just creative professionals are using SD cards nowadays. Anyone with a digital camera has access to an SD card and transfers files, pictures, videos, etc. So there is no reason why they would have put on the Mac Studio and not on the Mac Mini. Now there is a bunch of products out there, hubs, they give you a bunch of ports, SD card slots, even storage, some of them, and I've reviewed plenty of them on the channel here, but none the size that this one comes in. And this product I've been using for the past week, it's the Mini Pack by RayQ. And it gives you two USB-C ports on the front, two USB-A ports on the front, and an SD card and a micro SD card slot on the top. And I've got to say for the past week that I've been using it, it's proven to be very good. And we'll go into detail about this just in a little bit. But before we get into this, if it's your first time here, my name's Almir, AKA Mr. HTech. On this channel, we make tech simple. If I do earn your subscription anywhere in this video, hit that subscribe button down below, join the community, it helps a lot. If you do like the video, also hit that like button down below. Leave a comment down below if you use any hubs on your M4 Mac Mini, or if you would maybe use something like this, maybe after I tell you a bit more about it. So this is the RayQ Mini Pack, and I have boxed it just for your viewing pleasure, so you get the full unboxing experience, which is not that exciting, trust me. So you've got the box, and when you open it up, you get a user manual and a product information guide that tells you about the ports on the front, etc. Don't need that. And then you get the Mini Pack in its full glory. So once you take that out, the box is kind of empty, so don't need that. Now, like I said, on the actual Mini Pack, you do get two USB-C ports, two USB-A ports, all 10 gigabit connections, and then you get SD card slot, micro SD card on the top. On the back, it is two USB-C ports, which are perfectly aligned with the USB-C ports on your M4 Mac Mini. So it clips on the front, and they've made it the right size and the right color, so it looks like one unit when it's on your M4 Mac Mini. The only thing is, which some people have said they don't like, is they've got that RayQ branding on the front, but they've got to put it somewhere. Now, I wanted to do some tests with this product because going from two 10 gigabit connection ports on the front of the M4 Mac Mini to all of this ports here, I was wondering, are you gonna lose speed if you try and do some data transfers? And how does it work when it comes to separating the speeds throughout all the different ports? So, what I did originally, I've got a Satoshi Mini NVMe drive and I plugged that into the M4 Mac Mini to get a baseline to see what kind of speed we get when transferring a 10 gig file from the actual drive to the M4 Mac Mini. And that took around, I think, 11 seconds. So pretty good speeds. I think that works out to about 900 megabits per second or something like that. And next I plugged in the actual RayQ Mini Pack. And then I plugged in Satoshi into the RayQ Mini Pack to see if there's any difference. Just plugging it straight into that. Doing the same test. And I think the speed was again like 11 something seconds. So no difference there. Then I thought, well, what if I have some things charging in the front? So I plugged in, in one of the USB-A ports, my Leveling mic charger, and in the other USB-A port, I plugged in my Sony camera battery charger and let them start charging the devices while doing the data transfer and having an SD card up the top. And I think the speed, I'll show you on the screen, the speed was around the same, so it didn't really affect it that much. But then I thought, well, what if I'm transferring two of the same 10 gigabit file using both of the USB-C ports from two different sources. So I plugged them both in, started the data transfer, and the total for the two 10 gigabit files was around 21 seconds for them both to transfer, but the first one transferred in 17 seconds and then the last one took an extra like three, four seconds. Will it slow down a little bit if you're transferring multiple files using multiple ports? Of course, yes. Does it make a big difference? No. And 
To be honest, this product is around $60 and then it went down to $30 currently on sale. And then using the discount code and the link in the description, you get an extra 20% off. So I think that takes it around to $23. So for $23, I think this is a steal, especially something that gives you then portability of that form factor, the SD card slot, micro SD card slot, the ports on the front. Me personally, I don't use the USB-A ports on the front, but I know some people out there have expressed concerns that the M4 Mac Mini doesn't have them and they want to do either transfer files using USB-A or plug in different peripherals that they've got. I mostly use the ports on the front to just charge up my devices, whether it be keyboard, mouse, or like I showed you, camera, battery, etc. And then mostly I use it just for the SD card slot on the front because it is what is lacking from the M4 Mac Mini. But yeah, let me know in the comments, would you grab one of these? Remember to check the actual discount code and link if you want to grab one. And I figured I'd make this video just to tell people about the device. I haven't seen many videos of it on YouTube or any videos of it on YouTube. So great device, great little form factor, especially if you just want to plug it in when you need it, take it out and put it in the drawer. If you don't need it, it doesn't take up that much room. But you can also, because it is made to be almost the same dimensions in terms of height as the M4 Mac Mini and the color to match, you can leave it plugged into the M4 Mac Mini and just have it like that. And then again, that discount code that I'm providing down below, that is for all Reiki products. So if you do want to grab yourself the storage option as well, like I've got the Thunderbolt 5 storage underneath my M4 Mac Mini with a four terabyte NVMe in there, that will also work on that because obviously this only gives you ports and SD card slot. It doesn't give you expandable storage as well. So if you want to go that route, you can grab multiple products from RayQ and then use the link and the discount code to grab 20% off the total. But if you want to just grab this, you can also do that. If you don't want to grab anything, you don't have to. But yeah, thanks for watching. Remember, if I do earn your subscription, or if I have earned your subscription, do subscribe using the button down below. Like the video if you did like it. Share it with anybody you think might find this useful. Follow me on my Instagram, QR code somewhere on the screen now. And there's a new wallpaper pack coming soon as well. I've got some other ones, free ones that are on my Instagram currently. And I'm going to start making more of them and giving out free to my subscribers and followers just as a thank you for supporting the channel. And I'll catch you on the next one.